Hey everyone, great evening, uh, happy Tuesday. So I'm so excited. I have such an amazing, powerful word for you all tonight. Um, this is the first time I'll be sharing a word given to, his name is Scott Allen, um, but he actually was or has known Johnny N. Lowe, who is a well-known prophet um, for a while. They went to the same church. Um, so he pretty much introduced him to Elijah Streams, and therefore that is why he decided to share this word that the Lord gave to him. So I'm really excited. Um, let's just get right into it. Honestly, there's nothing else for me to say. Um, and you guys will see why at the end we're going to be able to declare and decree what God is asking us as a body of Christ to decree and declare together. So this word is called, it is time to shake the Luciferian kingdom. All right. This word was given, well, he received a vision on April 13th. Okay. And so again, he's writing it out. Um, so Recently, I had a vision, and as the vision gradually came into view, I was on the beach with Jesus, reclining next to him. I asked the Holy Spirit to show me more. Then Jesus began to create something with his thoughts. In front of us, a cloud appeared about four feet in diameter, which I knew was some kind of portal. Then, to my amazement, I floated up while lying flat rotated head first and went into the cloud. Where was I going? What was on the mind of the Lord? After a few minutes, I saw Jesus walking ahead of me on a clear day. He turned around and with his right hand, he beckoned me to follow him. So I started walking behind him on a trail up a hill. I knew this was the mountain of the Lord and it was gradually rising. And you can refer to Isaiah 2, 2. Soon the trail led us along a steep high cliff. I looked down below me at the blue ocean waves crashing on the rocks several hundred feet below. This was a narrow trail and we were walking with a couple of feet above the edge. Phew, I thought, this is dangerous. So I stayed close behind Jesus, knowing I was safe following him. After a while, the trail turned inland and we continued to walk up the hill through a beautiful forest. As Jesus and I approached a flowing stream, the trail turned to the left, but Jesus walked straight ahead and over the stream, seemingly on air. I followed right behind him and crossed too. I glanced back and marveled at how we had crossed some kind of invisible bridge in the spirit realm. The trail continued ahead of us toward a steep slope of the mountain and turned left again. Jesus did not turn. He walked straight into the mountain. I did likewise and looked back, amazed at what had just happened. We had just walked through an invisible opening in the mountain. I thought, surely no one is ever going to find this place without following Jesus. Jesus continued walking into the mountain through a dimly lit tunnel. I stuck close behind and began to wonder, where are we going? It wasn't long before we entered a large room. There were rows of what looked like some kind of control station. One long table had several control consoles, each with an office chair, a control keyboard, and a screen type device. Jesus motioned for me to step up next to him so I could see them in more detail. Each screen actually looked like a seismograph that scientists used to measure the intensity of earthquakes. The writing needles on them were vibrating violently up and down with intense shakings. One control console was labeled arts and entertainment. The console next to that one was labeled government. Then another business and economy. Yet another was labeled media, the next education, the next family, and the next religion. Jesus explained, this is the mountain of the Lord, and this is the headquarters where we influence nations and cultures. We have decided that now is a time for everything that can be shaken 
to be shaken. And you can refer to Hebrews 12, chapter 12, verse 25 through 28. He encouraged me to examine each control panel screen. All the sensitive writing needles were moving up and down violently, and I knew great shaking from the hand of God was taking place all over the earth. I noticed there was another screen on the right hand, right hand end of the row of each console's. Its writing needle was shaking a little bit, but not very much. I wondered, why is this one? What is this one? Knowing my thoughts, Jesus turned toward the console and a label appeared on it that said, Luciferian Kingdom. Jesus explained with a determined tone, It is time for us to shake this kingdom. All those who secretly worship Lucifer, drink blood, participate in occult rituals, operate in witchcraft, offer human sacrifices to Satan, participate in pedophilia and human trafficking, start wars, release plagues, all for power, wealth, and world domination. These are about to be shaken. Jesus pulled out the chair at the newly identified console and motioned for me to sit down. I could feel a weight of responsibility and resolve as I settled in the chair. The control console had a big black and silver control dial that had a scale written on it of 1 to 12. The number of divine government, I softly mumbled. The dial was currently set between the 1 and 2 position, and not much shaking was going on in the Luciferian kingdom. Sitting on the desktop was something like a microphone with which to speak into. The top of it swirled like a clear, clean cloud in a small sphere. Something for the spirit realm, I guessed. Jesus, still standing on my left, leaned down with one hand on top of the table and the other hand on the arm of the chair I was in looked me in the eye and asked, Do you believe you are in me? I immediately replied, Yes, Lord. As soon as I spoke those words, Jesus stepped over me and sat down. I was inside Jesus sitting in that chair. He became so he became see throughish at that moment. Then Jesus said, Speak as I give you utterance. I turned and faced the console, looking down at the control dial on the desktop. I wanted to turn it up from a 2 to a 12 with my hand. Jesus said, I want to gradually turn it up to a 7 in this season. And no need to touch the dial, just face the console and speak. I opened my mouth and these words suddenly boomed out. From where I am seated in Christ Jesus, at the right hand of the Father, the Lord God Almighty says, The time has come for the Luciferian kingdom to be shaken. I decree, let the great shakening of all who worship Lucifer begin. As I spoke this, the writing needle on the control, on the control screen started shaking much more. I looked down and the control dial had moved by itself up to a three. I immediately felt resistance in the kingdom of darkness. So God continued to speak through me. Your sorceries and sacrifices will not help you. Your protection is removed. Let the shaking of the Luciferian kingdom increase. The needles on the screen started vibrating up and down with even greater intensity and magnitude. I noticed the control dial moved up between the three and four. Those who had sold their souls to the devil were now experiencing shaking by the hand of God all around them. They thought they were going to win their quest for a one world order. They had been so successful in taking over the mountains of most of the world's cultures with their scheming and manipulation for many years. They thought they were going to win and God didn't care until now. Finally, everything that could be shaken was being shaken. It was the worst of times and the best of times. Millions had wondered, when will God judge the wicked? 
the turbulence was intense, but hope began to rise all over the world. Nations were breaking free from many years of bondage to the secret worshipers of Satan. I was so encouraged, and I knew that God will shake the Luciferian kingdom even more in the days ahead. Hallelujah. Marveling at what was unfolding on the earth, I rose up out of the chair and out of Jesus into a realm I don't understand. It was like I was in some kind of suspended animation in the spirit realm. Then suddenly I drifted out of the portal, which Jesus sent me through at the start of the encounter, and I was back on the beach with Jesus. I floated down next to him. He put his arm around me, kissed me on the right side of my head, and said, Good job, son. The vision ended, and I was stunned. Tears welled up in my eyes, realizing what an awesome privilege it is to be one of the sons of God, purchased by the blood of Jesus and filled with his Holy Spirit. We can do all things through Christ in him. Thank you, Lord, for making a way for your sons and daughters to represent you on this earth. As I pondered the significance of this encounter, I heard the Lord say in this vision, you represent all my sons and daughters filled with the spirit and knowing they are seated in me at the right hand of the father. They can join you in speaking what we are decreeing in this hour. So together as one in him, let's do it and speak in unity from the mountain of God. So we're going to say this out loud. Okay. From where we are seated in Christ Jesus at the right hand of the father, the Lord God Almighty says the time has come for the Luciferian kingdom to be shaken. We decree let the great shaken shakening of all who worship Lucifer begin. Your sorceries and sacrifices will not help you. Your protection is removed. Let the shaking of the Luciferian kingdom increase in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Wow. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to be continuing to declare this every single day. All I can say is I was just out of words reading this and, you know, just in my mind, kind of trying to put the picture together as he was describing the vision that God showed him like, wow, like we serve such an amazing God. And the fact that he took him to the mountain of the Lord and showed him everything. So a reminder, right? This is a reminder for all of God's sons and daughters that there's a shakening happening, right? And it is time, like he said, for the Luciferian kingdom to be shaken. So, you know, as a body of Christ, I, I guess I urge you um, to come into agreement with this word, right? To maybe write it down. Um, I'll write it down in the description. Uh, that way you guys can also, you know, um, write it down yourself and, you know, decree and declare it every single day. And it is done. God is moving. God is shaking things up. I don't know about you guys, but right before I started recording this video, I just felt like a stir in my spirit just after reading this word. And I'm like, I can just sense the shakening. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just in my spirit. I could feel shakening is about to increase. Um, and I'm so excited because, again, a lot of us have probably been asking, when are the wicked going to be judged? But it's happening. Um, so I'm so excited to see what God is going to do in the next coming days, in the next coming weeks. Um, I can't even believe that April is over. Like, we are about to walk into a new month this coming Saturday. No, Sunday. Sunday is May 1st, which is unbelievable. I, I literally feel like the time has flown by like this. Um, and and I just, I know that May is going to be another amazing month. Not sure what's going to take place, but I just know these next coming months are so crucial. So hang on tight. 
you know, continue putting your faith in the Lord. Do not put your faith in man. Do not put your faith in um, yourself and don't put faith in what's going on right now. Like stay focused on God and don't worry about everything else that's happening on around. Um, one thing I would also encourage us to do as a body is Again, being mindful of what's coming out of our mouth, not so much talking about what the enemy is doing, because then we're just giving life to that, right? We're speaking death, but we're speaking life. We're giving him the attention, giving him the glory when we we don't need to give him anything. We don't need to give him jack. <laughs> let's just put it like that, right? But let's start speaking and lifting what God is doing, right? Like, sharing our testimonies, sharing what God is doing. Again, if you hear prophecies being fulfilled, like let's speak about that. Again, I mentioned last night about Twitter. That is a victory right there, right? Like God is using Elon Musk. Um, Again, we are no one to judge in who God chooses to use. God will use anybody, okay? Um, So again, we should just speak about the things that God is doing, okay? Because if we start to focus on what the enemy's doing, that is where we get discouraged. That is where we start to get into fear. That is where we start to um, lose our faith and lose hope. And again, these words are here to encourage you all. So I love you. Be blessed with this word. Again, I encourage you to write this down. I'm going to write it in the description box. um, And I just pray that this word has blessed you. So I will see you guys tomorrow in the next prophetic word.